Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to use the Ladybug ground temperature component. So once you're in Grasshopper, you come up to Ladybug. If you've got the latest version of Ladybug, you should see it here under Analyze Weather Data. So Ladybug Import Ground Temp. So just place it there. Um, you're going to need an EPW file to get it working. So just come up here like that then you can I mean you can search for all these components using this but often I just go up to the top as you can see here you can also get the component there um, anyhow so come in here connect that um, so select your weather file I'm selecting um, uh, Melbourne in Australia then what you can do is you won't see anything on the on the Rhino screen yet, but um, you can you have two options here. You can uh, visualize the data by season, and you can see that there. Um, this is by season, so you've actually got four curves. Um, in order to get color on these curves, you actually have to connect the Grasshopper custom preview to uh, <clears throat> like so. So you've got to connect the curve colors to S and then the profile curves to G. And take your mouse off that. If you hold it down, there'll be no colors. But if you take your, um, if you don't select it, then you've got, you've got colors. So as you can see, this is, um, I'll just make that a bit larger. So as you can see, this is by season. So Melbourne, Australia, um, you've got the ground temperature there. This is the depth below ground. Um, so winter, spring, autumn, summer. Uh, keep in mind that this is uh, coming from the Energy Plus EPW weather files. There's, in those weather files, they actually only give the ground temperature at three depths. That's uh, the three depths are 0 0.5 meters, two meters and four meters. So anything after there is actually interpolated. Um, so uh, the temperature from here to here is interpolated and also from here to here is interpolated. And I've assumed that at about nine meters below the surface, um, the, the difference in temperature throughout the year is minimal. So that, that's the reason why you get this curve, these curves sort of coming together here. Um, so that's one way you can visualize the data. If you want, you can also visualize it by month. So, as you can see here, this is by month. So, so you've got three months of winter, um, three months of spring, three months of autumn, and, and three months of, of summer. Um, so that's, that's how you can visualize the data. Uh, finally, you can also uh, get a panel on the Grasshopper uh, canvas. Come here. Um, like I said, there's uh, three um, the data in the EPW weather files is at three different depths. So you've you've got three different outputs from there because of that. So if you if you see this, you, you've got the ground temperature um, data displayed on the grasshopper panel. So this is a ground temperature depth at 0 0.5. That's the first output. Um, it's in degrees centigrade, it's monthly. Um, it's from the 1st of January to the uh, 31st of December, so throughout the whole year. Those are your 12 those are your 12 months of the year. Um, that's the same. This is the ground temperature data at two meters below the surface. This is the ground temperature data at four meters below the surface. Um, so I hope this component is useful for you. And if you've got any um, questions or you've got user requests, um, you can open up the component and my contact details are there. So thanks for watching. Have fun with it.